Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about a GameStop console. That's right, GameStop should come up with their own console similar to the PS5 and the new Xbox. So PlayStation 5 SSD is screamingly fast and a game changer say Insomniac. So that makes me really excited, but according to my research, uh, the PlayStation uh, Sony focused heavily uh, their R&D heavily on uh, improving the speed of the solid state drive for the upcoming PlayStation 5 uh, and according to my research their technology is not available on the market right now that means that you cannot get a like a computer that is faster than the PlayStation 5 at the moment simply because the technology is not out there it's exclusive to Sony that doesn't mean that when Sony releases it that doesn't mean that uh, you know companies are not gonna uh, look and examine at the architecture of the PlayStation 5 and develops uh, a gaming PC or a motherboard that is even faster than the PlayStation 5 or just as fast as the PlayStation 5 but knowing this that you you buy a PlayStation 5 you are getting extremely fast console the console speed is going to be extremely fast and it's basically a computer so it's going to be extremely fast computer that's very graphically intense for a price of Three ninety nine or four ninety nine, which is incredible as a deal. Uh, you like right now? If I was to go out and buy a computer that is similar to the PlayStation Five, I still wouldn't get the speed of the SSD of the PlayStation Five. But similar to the PlayStation Five, I would spend roughly one thousand five hundred dollars to get a PlayStation Five. So the PlayStation Five will be more powerful than all than like 90% or 95% uh, of all the current user computers out in the market right now future technologies is going to be better than the PlayStation 5 but when the PlayStation 5 comes out it's basically going to be better than all the PCs out in the market except for the really high end PCs that people have at the moment but you know the those high end PCs are probably within the three the five thousand dollar range. You can't just you can't compete a PlayStation Five with that. Maybe the SSD is better than them, but still, you know that's what uh, that's what uh, a lot of people are going to be testing the SSD compared to a PC. They're going to see if the SSD in the PS Five is faster than the PC. So, you know, very, very excited about the PlayStation 5. I'm definitely getting one day one unless I can't pre-order it because I'm definitely pre-ordering one. Maybe even multiple consoles because I might flip them, especially depending on the price point that Sony sells it at. So anyway, so what I'm really concerned about with, with uh, the PS5 Digital Edition is it's a digital edition. GameStop cannot sell they they cannot sell games at the store but the games okay so GameStop doesn't really make that much money off of selling games at retail what they make money on is the resale of games so when people trade in the games they make more profit off the the trade-ins uh but it hurts the it hurts uh but the digital will hurt that uh, that resale because people uh, people won't be able to trade in their PlayStation 5 games because some people will have a digital version and some people will have a physical so their resale value on used games are going to go down dramatically and that is an extremely big business for GameStop and uh, GameStop needs to find a way to survive uh, and this really worries me that's why I uh, reduced my when I saw the PlayStation 5 digital I was really scared I knew that that GameStop has a big road ahead of it f to you know change consumers' minds uh, to survive as a business because of the digital era. Uh, so and then 
get uh, then Xbox is also coming up with their own digital uh, version. It's going to be a cheap, really cheap uh, Xbox. Uh, I think it's going to price it at two ninety nine ninety nine. Uh, but this really scares me too because Xbox and PlayStation are coming out of their own version of a digital version, and that will hurt GameStop so much in my opinion in the next uh, if we look two years down the road that will hurt GameStop business in a big big way uh, Steam you know so I did a lot of research on this uh, on Steam platform GameStop has in the past developed their own service to Steam uh, it's called, it was called GameStop PC download. So basically, they bought out a company called Impulse in 2011, and they renamed it GameStop PC Downloads. And uh, they had to close down their service. In, they closed down their service in 2014, I believe, which is which, in my opinion, was a big, big mistake because. Uh, right now we're in the digital world, and if you don't have some kind of digital platform, you are basically asking to slowly disintegrate. But again, that is my opinion. Uh, so management. So according to my research, management they have hired a bunch of people. To their board of directors, like some really big names, like the former CEO of Walmart and um, a Reggie, a film, a Reggie, that what used to be the spokesperson for um, Nintendo. So you know what? In my opinion, if they really want to survive, I think they're gonna have to come up with their own console. What I think GameStop should do for a console, I don't know if they'll do this, but I'm hoping that they will basically ask the customers to help them develop the new GameStop console by putting in a pre-order. Like uh like some of those startups where you know, you know, promote me and I'll make this product. What I forgot what it's called. But GameStop could ask their customers to pre-order their console, you know, increasing the hype and demand, and then develop the console, and then release it a year later, which, you know, that they have to do it. The, the first year of the game, uh, of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox, they're going to make a, a decent amount of money off selling the PlayStation 5 and Xbox. Simply through, um, you know, selling insurance for these consoles because people are gonna buy these new consoles, and they're gonna, and they're going to buy insurance for them. And GameStop is gonna make a lot of money off those insurance. It's not, you know, not a lot of people. Some people might not buy it, but some people will, and that will increase their revenue. Uh, and you know, besides that, it's tough because, I mean, I. I I don't really see GameStop that can sell Merchant and that too, but it's really tough. The biggest business is used games and people buying games and selling consoles. And if they can't, if they don't have that, GameStop could be looking like Blockbuster in the near future here. So I don't want to see GameStop go out of business. But right now, from my research, unless management can pull off a miracle, I think GameStop could go bankrupt in the future. So, uh, right now, GameStop stock is just kind of hovering around four bucks. So, I mean, between four to five bucks. So, uh, you know, let's. And I think it's probably gonna hover around there for a while unless they can come out with some kind of. Unless they can come out with a turnaround story that investors really, uh, real that really impresses investors for you know, uh, for big money and for bi the billionaires that are shorting GameStop stock right now to cover their short position, skyrocketing GameStop stock to you know, 
10 bucks, 20 bucks. I just, I just think that the consoles might help GameStop stock, but at the end of the day, you know, get, like long term, it's just really hard to see how GameStop's gonna survive this business. But who knows? Maybe management can pull a miracle out of their butts. Hopefully, I don't know. It's really, really tough for me to see them turn turn around the company. But I hope for the best. And I do have a position in GameStop, a position where I'm comfortable of losing my hundred percent position if they completely go bankrupt. So yeah. Anyways. Even share buybacks didn't cause a short squeeze. Usually, pe- uh, investors look at share buyback as something that's pretty awesome, but it didn't cause a short squeeze. So, uh, Silicon Asset Management, basically uh, Michael Berry's company, uh, told the board of directors to purchase back shares, and then we scroll further down. So, um. I saw, okay, right here, Notab- notably as of July 31st, 2019, Bloomberg sh- reports short interest in GameStop stock at 57 million shares. It is about 63% of the uh, nine mi- 90 million outstanding GameStop share at last report. So GameStop now has 65 million shares, so they purchased back quite a bit of stock and uh, the float on GameStop stock is extremely low right now Be- and they have a huge short position and I'm hoping for a short squeeze in the future but right now uh, bi- those billionaires that are shorting this stock they're probably not going to cover not unless there is some big news that forces them to cover so you know they're so that's why I think a lot of investors, are, you know, investors are, pr- are already thinking that GameStop's going to go bankrupt eventually, and like big money, anyways. And they're also shorting this, like the GameStop stock dramatically, even though GameStop has brought in really high end management for their board of directors. It doesn't matter. People are still extremely bearish on GameStop right now. Anyways, that is my video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.